now being University of Colorado person, I am leapfrogging right after the Teach OSM talk, which is per perfect because this relates to that, is how do we get um, OpenStreetMap more involved in curricula? And I just want to share my own story of something that I did that was like, oh, that makes so much sense. I should try and bring OpenStreetMap into this introduction to remote sensing class that I'm teaching. So why? Why am I doing this? We want to try and get as many people exposed to OpenStreetMap as possible because the more mappers we have from every kind of realm, the more equitable the map becomes, right? Because we have more editors. So how do we motivate entrance into this space? Because not everyone is going to self-motivate to do mapping and say, oh, I want to go to openstreetmap.org and see this welcome message and start mapping. There, there are other avenues to bring that in. And so I teach a remote sensing class. Much of it, most of it, is physics of the electromagnetic spectrum and what we do to create raster data that ends up being that satellite data that we trace and, and create um, data off of. We look at satellite data a lot, and then we create usable data for analysis off of that satellite data. So does that sound familiar? This is a lot of the mapping that we do. And so I thought, oh, right. Well, I can, after we talk about all the physics of things, insert in the in image interpretation module, a bring in OpenStreetMap as a tool to let people actively understand how they're using their eyes, their brains, their thoughts to look at satellite imagery and think about what that stuff actually is. So, Mr. Olson here introduced the elements of photographic interpretation back in his day. And these are all the different things that we use intuitively to understand, oh, I'm gonna call that a house, I'm gonna call that a boat and label it with our tags and key value pairs in the data. So these elements, when we talk about it in a remote sensing class, you can think about tone, texture, all of these things that help you understand what you're seeing if you map from satellite data. And learning this in remote sensing is important because we're trying to figure out how to take imagery of whatever it is and turn it into usable data. So when you dive into some of these places, if it's a place that's unfamiliar to you, you might not have as good of a plan for doing it as if you're mapping your hometown. So my lesson plan that I want to help build into a teach OSM module is map a familiar place, think about why you know what that was, but then try and map an unfamiliar place and reflect on what those elements of interpretation are to uh, inform what you're looking at. So is this a building or is it a fenced compound? We're using those shadows to determine what those things might be. And the last thing I wanna mention is that I am so excited about the sandbox potential because what I'm doing right now is I'll have students map something, they become familiar with OpenStreetMap in their hometown, but then I don't really have the map when they don't understand what the thing is because it's hard. But now with the sandbox, we could potentially build those places and you give them, you know, three different potential areas where they're like, pick one where you know you might not be familiar with that and go and try and understand what the images, um, elements of image interpretation are. So that's just a quick thing that can be part of Teach OSM eventually. That's all I've got. Okay.